Welcome back. I'm Mike with PA Woodlands and today we have another product to review. We're here in the shed at our property and uh, let's take a look at it and we'll get right to it. The gun that we're going to be looking at today is the Benjamin Marauder. It's a 25 caliber. It's probably the most popular PCP air gun that there is. Um, I just got the gun the other day. I ordered it on Thursday, uh, New Year's Eve day. Uh, it was actually, yeah, New Year's Eve, the day of New, of New Year's. And then I got it the following Thursday. So Thursday was kind of not a shipping day. Friday was a holiday. Then over the weekend, they shipped it on Tuesday. I had it the following Thursday, so I, th I thought that was pretty good. Um, I just got it. I did pay additional money to have the scope mounted and have it uh, uh, sighted in for 25 yards. So I have the target set out in the opening here, exactly 25 yards. We're going to put the first shot in it. All I did when I got the gun, it had about a thousand pounds of air in it. I did get a hand pump. I pumped it up. So I'm up to about 2,900 pounds, which is right where I want to start. Um, I'm going to get some pellets loaded up and we'll uh, see how it works out. What it looks like, it's a pretty good sized gun. Uh, this is the, uh, the gun. It's got a center point scope on it that came already mounted. And the pellets that we're going to be shooting today are Benjamin pellets. It's a 25 caliber, as I said, and it's a pretty good sized pellet. A couple of things uh, that came to uh, that are worth noting, I should say. First, it has a pressure gauge on the bottom. We have it pumped up to about 2,900 pounds, which is about where we want to uh, start. When I got it, it was just down along the 1,000, which is where the yellow line is and I pumped it quite a bit. It's not terrible, but it's a little bit of a workout. Um, there's, the only thing that was not 100% when I got it was this, and I saw this, someone else noted this, I saw this on someone else's YouTube channel. So this barrel, this, this part right here was twisted, and the barrel was actually touching on this side and had a real wide gap on this side. The whole thing was kind of twisted. And that's exactly what the other person had, and what they did is exactly what I did, and that's loosen up these two set screws. There's a set screw there, there's a set screw there. You loosen those up, and it just, as soon as I did it, it almost centered it itself. It, it probably happened in shipping. They probably dropped this thing, the whole thing got torqued, and it, and it stayed that way. So I loosened these and it automatically kind of went right back and centered itself. So that was kind of no problem. It took just it took me longer to get the, the wrench out than anything else. This scope I'm kind of impressed with. It's not a terribly, it's a center point scope, not a terribly expensive scope, but I really like it for a number of reasons. First, it's got a 4 to 16 zoom on it. The 16 zoom is a lot more than anything I've ever had in a scope. It really works well. It does have the green and the red illuminated reticle which is that's what this turn this thing's here it's got five or six different uh, levels of brightness so you start at one that's dim and you can turn it up to the highest uh, setting I think it's five or six and it's uh, pretty bright at that point these of course are your windage and elevation uh, adjustments over here and then something else it has that I've I've never had a scope that had this before but it has this this focusing a lens on the other side and it actually has the distance markers 20 25 yards 30 yards 40 yards so I without even looking at it put that to 25 and turn this all the way up and put it on the target and it's crystal clear so I'm kind of very happy with the way that it works out of the box um, the, for, as far as the scope goes it is a bolt action so uh, we're gonna work that in just a second the magazine that we have is right here it holds eight shots and, it, and you just slide that right into the side just like that with the bolt back of course and then uh, then you're ready to go so we're going to give that a shot we're going to shoot five or six shots at the target we have over here and see kind of what we have uh, to get started as you can see it still has the plastic uh, zip tie thing right on there where the where the label was so we let's uh, i think we're pretty much ready we can probably give it a shot
All right, that should be five shots, I guess. Let's go take a look and see how we made out. Okay, that's the first shot. Like I said, I haven't touched the scope. I haven't done anything. That's at 25 yards, and that's not too bad. Um, this is 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 pretty close as close as you're going to get, I guess. And and the the other one I might have might have pulled a little bit. I'm kind of standing on a couple leaning on a couple boxes, but uh, that's not too bad for start. I think maybe what we'll do now. For 25 yards, that's pretty good. I think maybe we'll go out another 15 yards or so, let's say 40 yards, and we'll uh, take a couple more shots at it. Okay, now we went down and took a look, and some of the ones when I was missing in the lower right corner, when we first went to 46 yards, we shot a couple. The spread wasn't too good. It wasn't like it was at 25 yards. And I don't know whether it's me or whether it's the gun, so I, I switched to shooting these poly mags instead of the other beam and pellets, and these my groups immediately got closer, so um, I'm going to say that maybe those other pellets are good for a little are, are good for a little shorter distance, and these might be better for 46 yards. Um, so this is what I'm shooting in. My groups are much better with these. So uh, with that said, I'm going to take one. I I just pumped back up again. It took me about 50 pumps to go from 22 to 29, which is where we want to be. So um, I'm going to shoot eight more shots. That'll probably take us down to 2,300, something like that. And at the lower right corner, then whatever we have, we're going to go back and uh, evaluate where we stand and see how things go. But so far, I'm very impressed. It's uh, it's very accurate for an air gun. And 50 yards, it's 46 yards. It's it's, it's surprisingly accurate. It's, it's a lot more accurate, I think, than I could probably shoot. So we're going to uh, try a couple more here and see what we got. All right, one thing I wasn't planning on showing, but um, I will since we're here. When I was adjusting over here, I hit a couple down low, which I didn't even rec I didn't even realize that before. But if you go around the back side, you think that it did a 25 caliber go through the bucket. And you can see that they absolutely went through the bucket. So if you question how much an air power an air gun has, I mean, it's only a plastic bucket, but it easily went through one side, not the other. Um, so. So let's take a look at our final grouping over here. This was our final grouping. I did shoot a couple and, I, and that magazine, I think maybe I didn't have the spring tension right because it shot three shots and then it wouldn't advance any further. So I dumped all the pellets out. We stopped the filming. I dumped all the pellets out. I rotated the thing all the way around 180 degrees again. It kind of started from zero and then reloaded them again and everything worked fine. It's just, uh, the thing isn't difficult to load. It just, you have to understand the way. It, it's not a typical magazine that you think of. So we have that figured out. We have that good to go. But this is our final grouping here. Um, I'm very happy with that. I'm not gonna make any adjustments. I'm gonna leave the gun sighted probably for 46 yards is what this is. I may go a little bit further because uh, we may want to take maybe a 75. We're about 80 yards across the opening here. So we may want to take an 80 yard shot but I want to get to the point where I could just do a holdover for 80 yards and uh, and kind of have it zeroed at 50. And then we'll we'll try different distances. As I said, I just started to shoot the gun today. We'll try different distances and make some markings as to in terms of do we want to hold over or under at certain yardages. But we're going to leave it zeroed. Um, anything that I'm going to be shooting at, that's pretty good for me. I may take a click up and a click to the left, but that's pretty good you can see right where we are that's pretty good for me so uh, so we're gonna uh, call it a success for the day and move on to other things uh, this is Mike from PA Woodlands and Victoria behind the camera reminding you till next time to find yourself in the woods